Emmett was the first to live on the rocks. He named them the rocks because that's what they were, a group of sharp rocks clustered together in the middle of a large sea. This was where Emmett lived. He enjoyed his life. Emmett would occasionally swim to nearby rocks, as it was never too far of a distance. One day, another person appeared on the rocks for no apparent reason to Emmett. Emmett named this new person Branch. Emmett and Branch quickly became friends, swimming and hunting for fish together often. Emmett showed Branch the simple cave in which he lived on the largest rock. Soon, Branch discovered a place where he decided to live, also on the same large rock. The sun always shone brightly on the world, and the water was always dazzlingly clear, allowing them to see almost to the deep ocean floor which surrounded them. Though the sun always shone, it was never too hot for the boys. A light breeze always came from the north and cooled the area down. One day, while Branch was swimming and having fun in the water, he noticed another boy swimming. Branch brought the new boy to Emmett to find out what to call the new boy. Emmett said the boy should be called Will. Will was soon a part of the group, and all three of the boys swam and enjoyed their perfect world. At least, that's the story I was told when I arrived today on the island. Emmett, Branch, and Will were surprised to see me at first, but even before the night ended, we were all becoming good friends. Today, the second day on this newly created age, a strange thing happened. It was not strange to me, but the three boys did not understand what was happening. While I was relaxing under a large tree on one of the smaller rock islands, it began to rain. It was a nice rain that lasted for about an hour in the morning. I explained to the boys that the rain was not harmful, yet they obviously still feared it. Before going to sleep tonight, I told the boys I would leave the following day. I told them that while I was gone, I would make a surprising change in the world. They didn't understand, not that I expected them to. I still do not fully understand what happened today. I was experimenting with the art, testing the limits of the rules as dictated to me by my father. I attempted to create a boat by writing it into the world. I thought everything was planned correctly, yet somehow the boat had become gripped by the rock and broken in half. Although this test did not turn out as I had hoped, I now have answers to a few of the questions my father never answered. As for the boat, I can see the boys enjoying it anyway, and with that I am pleased. They've played on it all day long. Even though the boat cannot move, I have enjoyed studying from it. It's a much sturdier platform than the jagged rocks. In the course of my observations, I have learned some very interesting things regarding the solar system of this age. The nights are absolutely beautiful here. I have made note of and named a number of constellations that pass above me. Also, during the night, I catch glimmers of light from the horizon, which I have not been able to discover if it is created by some natural phenomenon or by additional people on far-off islands or rocks. I should very much like to discover which. I rather suspect it's additional people, which would explain the appearance of Branch and Will. The rain today was slightly heavier than usual. Just when the boys were getting used to the light rains, a small storm arrived. They were frightened of the heavier rain, not to mention the thunder and lightning. If rain has never fallen here until recently, as the boys tell me, I would like to discover why it is falling now. Regardless, I have decided to return home for a short while. I've also been thinking of some plans for a lighthouse that I hope to construct soon. I think that perhaps by shining a bright light toward the horizon, it might prove my suspicions regarding additional inhabitants. They would be curious about the light and travel to discover its source, if they have the means. I returned with many tools that I will need for construction of the lighthouse. I have decided that once the lighthouse is complete, I will leave for some time and let the world's own imagination have control. We have worked three weeks on the lighthouse now and are making great progress. The rock that we are building on seems to not be as secure as I would like. I have had to alter my plan slightly, but those alterations pose no real problem. The boys are quite strong and have been helping me immensely. I estimate construction will be done within two days. The lighthouse is finished, and we're all proud of our creation. The boys are amazed at the structure wrought from rock with their own hands. That evening, we powered up the generator, much to the boys' dread at first, and shined a great light to the horizon for many hours. I stayed the night in the top of the lighthouse, and in the morning awoke to observe the sunrise without my being coated with the chilly blanket of ocean dew I had become accustomed to. It was Will who first saw the girl. She was swimming not far from the boat where Will was getting ready to hunt for fish. Then Will noticed a man not far away from the girl. Emmett was very pleased to meet the additional neighbors. I feel pleased to leave this age. I have set in motion events that have nothing to do with writing or the art that will have a more profound impact on this world than I could have ever written. 
I think of it this age as a gift to myself that I will wrap up and open someday in the future, only discover that it has changed so much that indeed it is a surprise. Besides, I have yet another new age that awaits me. It seems I'm going to need some way to travel underwater in this new age, and so much planning is in order. It has been ten years since I left this age, which I have since called the Stone Ship Age. Upon returning, I cannot believe the changes that have taken place. The original three boys have grown into adults, and there are many new faces that I do not recognize. Branch told me that it has not rained for seven years and the cool breezes are back again. They are all very content and have been serving me with new foods and showing me new materials that they have discovered. It even seems they have found gold somewhere. I see it in many forms around the island. My lighthouse is in perfect condition and it looks as if they have tried their very best to keep it so. Yet I have noted that the entire rocket was built on has sunk approximately 40 or 50 centimeters. After a wonderful visit with my old friends, I wondered aloud with them what things will be like here in another 10 years.